creating music by thought alone. The encephalophone is a musical instrument that can be controlled with your thoughts, without any movement. The encephalophone is based on brain computer interfaces using an old method, called electroencephalography, which measures electrical signals in the brain. Scientists converted these brain signals into sounds in the 1930s and, later, into music in the 1960s. But these methods were still difficult to control, and were not easily accessible to non specialist users. But now, neurologists at Swedish Medical Center have created the hands free, thought controlled musical instrument which can be used even by a non specialist. Published in a report in Frontiers in Human Neuroscience, on April 26, 2017. Thomas Dewell, a neurologist at Swedish Medical Center and a neuroscientist at the University of Washington, is the first author of the report. Thomas Dewell says, I am a musician and neurologist, and I have seen many patients who played music prior to their stroke or other motor impairment, who can no longer play an instrument or sing. I thought it would be great to use a brain computer instrument to enable patients to play music again without requiring movement. Researchers hope that this new instrument will help empower and rehabilitate patients with motor disabilities such as those from stroke, spinal cord injury, amputation, or amitrophoclateral sclerosis. The encephalophone collects brain signals through a cap that transforms specific signals into musical notes. The invention is coupled with a synthesizer, allowing the user to create music using a wide variety of instrumental sounds. Dr. Dewell originally developed the encephalophone in his own independent laboratory, in collaboration with Dr. Felix Starvers, a physicist at the University of Washington. The preliminary study showed that a trial group of 15 healthy adults were able to use the instrument, to correctly recreate musical tones with no prior training. Novices subjects who had no training on the encephalophone, controlled the device with an accuracy that was better than random. The encephalophone can be controlled via two independent types of brain signals, either those associated with the visual cortex, closing one's eyes, or those associated with thinking about movement. Control by thinking about movement may be the most useful for disabled patients. But the current study shows that, control by eye closing is more accurate than control by imagining movements. Dual plans to continue researching this application, in a collaboration with the Center for Digital Arts and Experimental Media. Dual has built upon such research to make the encephalophone more musically versatile, as well as easier to use. Dual and his collaborators are already working with more people to see how much users can improve with training. Dual also plans to begin clinical trials of the encephalophone later this year to see whether it may be useful or enjoyable for disabled patients. There is great potential for the encephalophone to hopefully improve rehabilitation of stroke patients and those with motor disabilities. Thank you.